Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content created by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, back with more reactions with an X. Excited to do more Red vs. Blue Season 15. We are now on Episode 13, Blue vs. Red Part 2. And uh, we do little, we do like about three episodes each time. So hopefully you guys enjoy that length. If you wanted a different length, let me know. More or less, a medium, mixed into five different separate packageable pieces. Whatever you want. I'll try to figure it out. With that said, I want to give a special shout out to our patrons, Mad Stringer, Mike Waters. You guys are the best, and I really appreciate every bit of support you guys give. Uh, having said that, I also want to remind people to support the original content. I've been forgetting a little lately because today was a really busy day. We were trying to crack through episodes. It's always important to support the original content if you want to see more of that content because that's how capitalism works, right? So, uh, you know, go buy the CDs, watch the movies, get a Crunchyroll subscription and watch it to pump up the numbers. Whatever you got to do, uh, Rooster Teeth subscription membership, whatever. Check it out. They make good stuff. R Ruby... Ruse, Red vs. Blue, Camp Camp, they got a bunch of stuff. So some that I haven't really checked out. I was still so irritated they had Camp Camp merchandise and not Ruby merchandise at some of the stores I went to. Sour. Anyway, we're going to get into this episode. If you enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, let me know below. And, you know, don't subscribe. Pretty pretty, pretty straightforward. I never like to like pressure people to be like, you gotta subscribe to watch my videos. It's like, if you like the videos, better. subscribe. Just give me another chance. I promise you won't need to call in. Text. We don't always get what we want out of life. Ah, uh, yes. However, in this instance, Daddy dearest. I'm prepared to oblige your request. Thank you, sir. Ready for mission briefing. You will lead a team of inexperienced soldiers in a game of... A game? Are you kidding? This isn't about the game. It's about those you'll be working with. In war, one is not always so fortunate as to choose their allies. It will also act as a field test for several pieces of prototype technology. With all due respect, I doubt I'll ever be fighting war alongside red and blue idiots. <laughs> that is your final interruption. You will command your team against another agent's soldiers. The game, if you're curious, Capture is my personal favorite. Capture the flag. Who's the other agent? I'm counting on you, Carolina. That's so. Oh, hell yeah. 479 action on this fight. <laughs> Even good guy Wash put a bet down. Wow. What's my over under? 4 to 1? Not too shabby. Ah. No, that's 4 to 1 against. No offense. That woman is a killing machine. Texas. Remember what she did to York, Wyoming and Maine? Mm -hmm. Don't worry though. I got your back. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What can I say? Always a sucker for blue team. Oh, cool. That's a, like a you throwback. What? We dug a hole in the ground, and then we put the flag in it. And then we covered the hole. That last part was my idea. What possessed you to do something so stupid? What's the big deal? We done good. We need both flags to win the game, you moron. Where is it? Where did you bury it? They forgot. Oh, we have no idea. What? That's why we made a map. Where's the map? Oh, we have no idea. He lost the map. It's more like we just forgot where we put the map. It's okay. I made a new flag. This one's even better. I like to make things. <clears throat> hey, speaking of forgetting, I don't remember ever calling command for a freelancer. Stow it. We're going loud in five. What do you think she means by loud? Well done or medium top yelling. And it's not I'm guessing she kills Biff. It's a maneuver. You two, my name is don't fucking care. Tweedledee and Tweedledum lay down suppressing fire. I can't. I left the magic back at base. Jeez, careful. You're gonna hit someone. Shut up. You, over there. Are you with us or them? Sorry, ma'am. I'm neither red nor blue. I'm simply observing and administering first aid to the need. Incoming! What is it? it kind of looks like a puma to me. Puma. <laughs> <coughs> cool. Damn. All right. I haven't seen some of this in a while. I'm sorry. They made me. 
Goodbye. Oh, wow. Let's try one syllable orders this time. Charge! <laughs> oh, forget them. <laughs> Smack. Here's the thing, Donut's supposed to be Tex's natural weakness. Oh no, fuck this! Damn. And then there's Texas, yep. Hello, Mom! Well, if it isn't the great state herself. I was wondering where you were hiding. Hand over the flag, and I promise I'll try not to do any permanent damage. Shut up and fight. Nice voice box, Optimus. You get that in a Cracker Jack box? Yeah, it's just never been as impressive as it was when Monty was doing it. Rest in peace, good. Holy mother of awesome. Look at them. Yo, Red! Are we still fighting, or...? Oh, holy shit! Alright, men, new plan! Let those two pummel each other to death! The only thing that would make this better is some music. Oh, I got it. I just upgraded the bass's sound system. Okay, Shelly, play Action Mix. a little better with the music for sure because without it it's just soft buds basically Whoa. okay Shelly play something faster there we go tone is important as well as tempo although once again I think the action just does never quite goes to where it was before it's still pretty good though yeah yeah personally not my taste I think it's neat let's try something old school Okay, oh no, not Springsteen! There, this is a really meta joke. It just doesn't help too that the the hits aren't looking as powerful. Chapter 14. Harry and his friends walk through the crowded office of their headmaster. But Professor, Harry said, that leaves there. They are more realistic, but the old red of versus blue fights had a lot of Harry, impact behind him, right? Like, but douche. Because like, even though like Tex is really beating her ass, obviously it's also the the music. Coming. But the some of it is in begin to throb, as if the iron was being reaction for me for the camera shake him, for the all that. Said, it's happening again. I like how they did make the uh, End of the, line. the thing about it or the Harry Potter line very applicable to what was going on still. But yeah, the, it's a very meta joke about how important music and soundtrack are to movies and stuff. Where on, people Martin. really usually Wait, don't value them as highly as they should. It's the only way. Dude, are you sure? Uh, I'm a terrible shot. Come on, dude, hurry. Oh no, he's gonna shoot him? I can't do it. Look, you're just gonna have to serve out your tour like the rest of us. <sighs> okay, then he's gonna get mixed up in their fight. You know how I said I saw Georgina when I was on shore leave? Yeah. Well, she's expecting, man. Expecting what? Fifth Junior. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, dude, that's why I need to get out. I'm gonna be a yeah. father and maybe a husband if things go that way. Jesus, stop it! Get off my flag, bitch! Bounced off and hit him. You want it so bad, you can have it. Oh, blocked no. it into Biff. Yeah, I don't think the medic's helping with that. Somebody help What me. is that space armor even for? This isn't about you. Game over. 
parallels the first episode, huh? In the comments. Hold on, buddy. I'll send help. Going. Oh. What is even that space armor for? I mean, yeah, that's like kind of a soft spot in it, but that's a wooden stick. Red team wins. I am concerned, however. Her aggression. Make a note of it. It's already done. Good. Send in the retrieval team and then pull the files on those simulation troopers. Sir? Before today, they were the only team still locked in total stalemate. I want their team compositions noted should we need to recreate a similar scenario. Understood, sir. Let's see. The time has come to kill the masters. The freelancers to start. But that's <sighs> not where this story ends. Pretty good story, Temple. Now tell me, how would you feel about some constructive feedback? Jack, shut up. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. This whole pregnant girlfriend about to retire thing is about as cliche as it gets. I mean, what if instead he's your twin brother? <laughs> Years later, That's funny. the order stopped coming, and we left our gulch looking for answers. We found them in an abandoned freelancer outpost. We discovered records showing that the very military we had enlisted in sold us like slaves to Project Freelancer. Welcome we to the military. In their game. But the thing that I love about chess is that sometimes pawns kill kings. I mean, super rare, but yeah. You know how hard it is to actually kill someone with a pawn? Just a pawn and a king, for instance. There's, there's, it is excessively difficult. Like, if, especially against a good chess player who understands how to actually move around the board and not corner themselves. Uh, is a very interesting. Now, you still win it because the king protects the pawn until it becomes a queen, right? But it's, you literally can't just kill them with the pawn and the king very easily. It's very difficult. Or even the king and another, one other thing that is not the queen can be quite difficult. It takes a couple moves to corner somebody who's really good at moving themselves around. I used to uh, play chess against a uh, competitive chess player who taught me, and uh, he was really good at that. Like, he was very, very good at, like, not losing. Like, even if he wasn't going to win, he would basically stalemate you, and it takes a lot of moves to stalemate in chess, so that's... It was very impressive. He would just make you sack everything until it was, like, barely anything on the field. Yeah, so I was in the it was really the weird. But he was we he was good enough to like manipulate Where other people's like play though. So like he could change your play style yes. by doing different Whoa. things in the, the start of the so awesome. start yeah, of the match. Did you find awesome guy. I asked. <laughs> Sorry, no luck. Then what happened on Seeking Planet? Yeah, well, then these pirates showed up. Pirates? No way. Did they have a lot of peg legs? No, but one had a sharp fur face. This is the best story in the history of stories. Why were the pirates there? I'm pretty sure they were there after Tucker's family jewels. <laughs> you know, he's always talking about how valuable they are and how everyone badly wants them. Oh, that God. Makes sense. They didn't get them, though, right? I hope there's a happy ending. Yeah, well, this company called Shark God Infinity showed up and made all of Freckles' brothers and sisters, like, like super bitchy. And then, of course, Church had to die to save us all. Your best friend died? Yeah, it's okay. It happens all the time. That, 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 that is the saddest ending ever. Yep, that's why we are all going to go rescue him. Right. You should be able to see your best friend. Maybe I can help. Hmm. What if I could show you a door? Ah, oh, you want me to leave now? No! It's not a door door. It's a door. Doors go to places, but not all doors. This would be a special door. Ah, so like a window. Eh, but with longer. No, not really. Ah, so like a sunroof. Eh, no. Ah, yes, like a metaphor. Only I can walk through it. Kind of warm, but that's not really what I had in mind. A metaphor for job. No, that would take me through a journey where I will learn a lesson, uh, colder, and there will be a payoff. And everyone would love me. Yes, that's it. I except, not at all. Where, where, where would, it, where, where, what, where would it go? Getting warmer. It's not about where. See, once the quad lithium matrix synchronizes with the nano chronometer, the entire wormhole will resonate backwards. Then we just need trajectories. Ah, words. Yes, you're pretty smart, aren't you? Uh, I just kind of 
imagine things and build what I see. Ah, so you didn't go to school for any of this? No, actually, I was raised by wolves. In the forest. <laughs> they were much more into homeschooling. <laughs> well, that's a hard question you asked there, my friend. Don't rightly know what it is I'm feeling at the moment. I suppose. Old. Realmente no quiero escuchar I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I still look like a spring chicken, cluck cluck. <laughs> but I'm actually more like a rooster who's lost his teeth. I don't this rightly know whatever. how many rooster more teeth, chances yeah. I have to go out in a heroic blaze of glory. Por favor, alto. You don't need to remind me. Sarge is war on gravity. Sarge is war on whites. It's all hogwash, Lopez. Hogwash, I tell you. But I'm a soldier. And soldiers need conflict, orders, a chain of command. Now these blues and reds come along and offer me everything. It's almost too good to be true. Por qué no tomar golf? Golf. Oh, ganchio. Oh, un segundo idioma. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I thought I was looking for someone like me, but now I don't know what to think. You know, maybe friends are like magnets after all. I was so mad at him for so long, but now I don't know. I mostly feel regret. Like, is he MC Scat Cat and I'm Paula Abdul? Porque de todos los tiempos Why? No hablar conmigo ahora. You know, Lopez, that is a fantastic point. An opportunity like this is a rare thing indeed. Like they say, don't go staring a gift horse in the mouth or a trudging horse in the butt. Hopeless odds, snake attacks, field promotions. This is a dream come true. I know what I have to do, and that is to be a soldier, damn it! YOLO! Porque no podría haber nacido a Roomba. Roomba. How does it make me feel? Well, sometimes I feel like people barely acknowledge my presence. And in it. I'm like a fabulous ghost. Yo, what the fuck are you reds doing? We scheduled a secret meeting, and you're all taking naps? Well, Tucker, maybe I was feeling lazy. Are you, are you gripping me right now? Is he gripping me right now? Oh, now you want to talk to me. Okay, guys, listen up. Now, I don't want to alarm anyone, but I've put a lot of thought into our current situation, and I've come to the conclusion that something weird might be going on around here. No mierda, Sherlock. Really? I don't know. Everything seems perfectly normal to me. If everything's normal, then where the heck are Carolina and Wash? Huh. Gene said they went out this morning to buy shoelaces. There was a really long pause before he finally said shoelaces. And we're wearing boots. That's suspicious. Really on de deducion. Well, you, I definitely don't trust that Gene guy. Anyone who's acting that squeaky clean must have some deep, dark secrets. Dylan was the only one looking into this, and I haven't seen her since. Oh, the reporter? She's tied up in the basement. She's what? She's tied up. I saw her while Krona was showing me his fursuit. Wait, are you serious? Why the hell didn't you say something sooner? I, I didn't did. Know you cared. See, Cronut's more of a fox. Well, I'm naturally a wolf. Not the first suit, Donut. The reporter. Who knows what she's into? I'm not a kink shamer. Don't God worry about it. her. Heard she and Jax are just remaking Pulp Fiction. That's all. Hmm. What about you, Caboose? You're spending all your time with Loco. Any idea what the heck he's building? Um. It's a door. It's a laser. Yeah, sometimes he starts explaining it, but then he starts, he starts, he starts laughing. And she's laughing. And you know, it's a metaphor. That is suspicious as fuck. But guys, it's no, that's the last straw. I, I hate to even suggest this, but it's time we found out if the blues and reds are actually bad guys. They are just so trusting. But how? Subtlety, my dear Simmons. Subtlety. You're gonna pretend Not to be Not exactly our specialty, is it? Watch and learn. Are you bad guys? Well, that's all a matter of perspective, isn't it, Tucker? Ha! Gotcha! That's exactly the kind of thing bad guys say. Oh, holy shit. You're really bad guys, aren't you? No, what we're doing is right, Tucker. I thought you would see that by now. We are simply planning revenge on those who used us. Those who turned us into training dummies for super soldier target practice. Project Freelancer. We already dealt with them, if you didn't get the memo. <laughs> no, you're wrong about that. Everyone in this room was drafted or volunteered to fight for the UNSC. 
they sold us to Project Freelancer like cattle. They used us. They destroyed our lives. And they haven't been made to pay for what they've done. Don't you give a shit about that? Yeah, like half and half. Water under the bridge. Finn, don't you see this for what it is? It's an opportunity to fight a war we can't possibly win. It's everything we've always wanted. Is it a pair of Scandinavian twin sisters in a waterbed? Because otherwise, no, it ain't. Shut up. Listen, Temple. Fuck you obviously love the sound of your own voice, so why don't you use it to tell us where the fuck our friends are? You all have such an interesting choice of friends, don't you? Your freelancer buddies are killers, and we're dealing with them appropriately. For our own safety. Oh, you backstabbing son of a bitch! Backstabbing? Take a look in the mirror. Your teams were used and beat up by freelancers, same as us, and you make friends with them! Your teams were used and sold by the UNSC. I already us, shot. And <laughs> just pulled this shot. Fucking photo ops. You're the traitors. You're the villains. You fucking cockfight. Shut the fuck up and prepare to eat sword. Hey, why is everyone fighting? I thought we were friends. Sorry, Tucker, but I can't let you kill me. I still have important business on Earth. Don't give a fuck. I'm going to kill you so hard, you wish you were dead. Unless the lock works on now, them, too. Your fire. Let's try the easy way first. Simmons, Lopez, for the sake of their own safety, I order you to take the blues under arrest. What? Stand your ground. We saved Chorus. We shut down Freelancer. We can handle a handful of Zim Trooper clowns. <laughs> you can't win. We're stronger than you. Just give in. <laughs> yeah, you and what army? So glad you asked. Red, assemble! What? Oh, they got those guys. Where'd they even find these guys? And how'd they move them? God damn it. Every time we say that, they always end up having an army. Son of a bitch. As you can see, we haven't just been tracking down freelance. These guys are worthless, though. You know, your teams, I run. They, had, they hadn't can canonically killed a single person besides yeah, themselves. I truly did admire you all once. So I'll also, they're all just as shit semi troopers as these guys are. The Reds and Blues have had actual, doing, actual training Get out in the off, field fucker. doing real shit. What these guys doc? have We've been basically so not been shown to we beat sure anybody. Have. You guys used me as a bargaining chip in Blood Gulch before you got bored and cast me out to live in a cave. Then you left me to the mercy of the meta. Then you abandoned me in Valhalla. Then you didn't even notice when I got sucked into another dimension on Chorus and nearly lost my. <coughs> Sorry, something in my throat. Nearly lost my mind. No way, when did that happen? My point exactly! You guys treat me like a leper. I'm just hoping some time in the brig might teach you some manners. A doc has been generally unhelpful you. the entire series. Drop it, Tucker. Ah, oh, goddammit, I thought you were Simmons again. I am Simmons. Drop the gun. Caboose? What the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. This is just something we're not all doing now. GG, everybody, GG! <laughs> Now that betrayal makes more sense you as a reason. Fucking believable. Quiet, prisoner. We fought alongside each other for fucking years. How can you just turn your backs on us like this? It's like Temple said. You're turning your back on us. We've got a war to win, Blue. And until you're ready to play ball, we're sticking you in the dugout. Only this dugout's got steel bars and a toilet in plain view of everyone. Yeah, that's right. You, Simmons, you're the worst of all. Didn't you hear a word in there? I only heard my orders, you dirty blue. Did I ever tell you about the time I got recruited That's not to join the ODST? That's not typical Simmons. Well, yourself. No. Psst. Tucker, I'm still a good guy. I'm just acting bad. Wait, really? Yeah, dude. Those people are evil as fuck. I figured our chance of escape would be better if I played along. Oh. Nice. That makes a better sense, because I was like, I didn't. it didn't make a ton of sense for the betrayal. It made sense why it would win them the fight, though. What did he say? Oh, caboose. Is that the signal? Run! Where are you guys going? The dugout's the other way. Quick, in here! Damn it, there's no lock. All right, we are trapped. Fuck. Dead end. Great idea ducking in here. We didn't have a choice, asshole. Hey, I order you idiots to open this door. You don't get to give orders if you're on the bad guy's side. Damn, I didn't consider that. I didn't ah, consider that. <laughs> think about this, Tucker. There's got to be something we can use. Yeah, like if there was only something that happened to be behind all of these torpedoes. 
Torpedoes? Holy shit, torpedoes! Long range, too! They must be the base's defenses! Bueno, esto se siente familiar. Oh, great! So we can blow up the place! That doesn't exactly improve our situation! We need to call for help! Who are we gonna call? The fucking Ghostbusters? <gasps> that is a great idea! Who are those people? Come on, give me a hand, Tucker. We need to write a note, but I don't see anything to write on. Oh! Dead to me. You won't fit. If we remove the warhead, we'll only have about a basketball's worth of space in here. Oh, we're screwed. Lopez. Or Lorenzo. Freeze! I like that. that where's the cutting? <laughs> that was the most pathetic excuse for an escape that I've ever seen. Simmons, I expected better from you. What the Sam Hill did you do to your robot? Goodbye! Yeah. And I mean, that was pretty obvious that was gonna happen. 14. Alright, 15. Next episode is the last one for this collection, and uh, should be a fun one. I will say, I've, I've switched to using the webcam mostly now, for mostly for easiness, because it's just such a pain in the ass working with the batteries in the DSLR right now. And until we get a consistent power supply, I'm just not really willing to fucking. I, and honestly, I just don't want to use the nice camera for it, which is the one I have. The, I have a consistent power supply for so who are they asking for help? Chorus? Espacio. Espacio. <laughs> oh, he lost the bat the rocket. Para ir a dos mante, a donde nugon robot ha ido ante. As this isn't his imagination, now they're doing the Star Wars or Star Trek in intro. Star Trek intro, nice. Okay. The is that the bounty collector or another freelancer? Is that Illinois? We have no idea. On the bright side, I do get three more episodes to like tune in for more of the thing, and then after that, it's a two more episodes till the end of season, so should be a nice pace for us. And our two more sittings of episodes is really more like eight or Mr. however many. It's nine. I got some things to say to you. Some things I gotta get off my chest, buddy. Buddy? No, not buddy. Stupid. Friend? Friend. No, friend. Definitely friend. Anyway, I've had a bit of time to think about some things. Lots of time, actually. Yeah, he's going Oodles crazy. of time. Oodles of buckets of times of time. Tempo de mucho. Mucho de tempo. Now listen, Simmons. Simmon. Sim. Cinnamon. Similaria. Ah, focus grip. Now things ended really bad out there, buddy. No, friend. And I've been thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I need to tell you that I am super duper, uh, I'm so incredibly hungry. You're hungry, aren't you? No, Simmons, I'm not hungry. That's not what I'm trying to say. Cast away it. What I'm trying to say is that I am thirsty. Glug, glug. No, what I am trying to say is that I am incredibly lazy, good for nothing, waste of fatty tissue and brain cells. Not now, Sarge. I'm trying to talk to Simmons. It's important. Of course he went cast away. Not as important as your job, Griff. You know you're supposed to be on guard duty. <laughs> I like that it's Sarge, painted and then he's like taped like foil in there. It's not every week that Command sees fit to send us the latest and greatest in invisible hover tank technology, Griff. Instead of guarding it, you're over there playing grab ass with Private Dick Simmons. I'm sure the tank is fine. It's not like it's going to disappear. Nothing here. Just like the inside of that thick skull of yours. Knock, knock. Nobody's home. Why are you blaming me? I left Donut and Lopez in charge. No vi nada. Es la culpa de Griff. <laughs> I was in my bunk. I like that he knows facial. Spanish for that. Entendre. Entendre. I can't tell you how disappointed I am in you, Griff. But I'll try. I just finished swapping out the headlight fluid and converting the brakes to diesel. The headlight fluid joke's never going away. Callback killing machine. And you lost it. 
telling you it wasn't my fault. Stop blaming me. I was busy. Busy, busy, busy. Busy as a bee. Busy, busy, bee body. Body bee busy. Ruining everything, like always and forever. I have an idea. Let's make a likely list of suspects. Somebody obviously stole the tank. Come on, guys. We know who did it. Let's just skip to Act 3. <laughs> the blues. Hey, we know you assholes stole our tank. Now you gotta give it back. Look who finally showed up. You're too late, Griff. It's over. What's over? Hey, Ben. My best friend is dead. Purple pineapple random nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to bring me air pump, Griff. Now I have gonorrhea. <laughs> Wow. Didn't expect him. I would know. I would know. L -l Locus? No. Ah, oh, fuck. You're not really real, right? I mean, I'm just hallucinating. You're not hallucinating. Then you're here to kill me? I'm not here to kill you either. No. That's bullshit, dude. You are like death personified. Griff! <laughs> fuck, your voice is still so scary. Still probably has the best voice actor in all of If even half what this robot says is true. You're going to need my help to save your friend. I'm not gonna lie, that one's a bit lazy for me. Even though it's cool that they bring him Stop back. Touching my face. <laughs> That's you fucking funny. We've been over this. <laughs> I'm real, and I'm it's still funny help. though. Um, still got any sanity left in it just did. Oh, I'm sane as a fiddle. Unless they sent it directly at uh Locus. Huh. Where'd he go? It, the well, odds of him I just randomly bumping into it. Right. So I'm just gonna assume. Mm -hmm. That they sent Wait, it directly to trouble? Locus for help. Out? Did you see them? Did you talk to them? Did you touch Simmons? How Simmons? Did he talk to you? <laughs> what have you been doing lately? What happened to the X on your helmet? Did you see Sarge? Are my friends okay? Is Sarge dead? Are my friends okay? I don't have all the information. I only know what the robot told me. Lopez? Todo el mundo está bien? Si. Hora, hora. Wait for Espere. him to freak out. Tu hablas. Fantastic. Teme lo peor por semanas. Y Simmons? Como esta mi amigo Marón? Bueno, en problemas, pero por lo demás, saludable. I wasn't aware you were bilingual. Huh, I had to learn. From Lopez's line. I didn't fucking do it, he did it! <laughs> I learned what? Spanish just to do it! I was... Noodles and toaster strudels. Tempo de mucho. Mucho de tempo. Fifteen seasons. Focus. Fifteen right, seasons. We should, go. we should go help the guy. That's Pretty good sure. writing, actually. The ship is ready. Even though it's just minor and aware. dumb, it's very good we're writing to, like, to push it and then, then explain no it. Oh. And then pull it back I in. I can bring the gang, right? Absolutely not. This is exciting. <laughs> sword. A good guy now? Aren't best friends awesome? You ever miss Felix? Hey, I'm orange, just like your last partner. Cool ship, by the way. I bet that's an awesome side story. Does it have a name? How about the Locust Pocus? I hope everyone doesn't hate me. Do you ever worry about people hating you? I don't. I don't remember you being like this. Yeah, well, I don't remember you being anything but a huge dick, but here you are being cool, so people change. How long is this trip gonna take, anyway? Do you have any music? Man, it feels good to talk to He's just getting kids. it all out. Can I be the DJ? Is there a bathroom on this ship? Can I drive? I thought I was gonna go crazy for a while there, but I'm sane as a fiddle. How many people have you killed? Where did you grow up? Do you ever get lonely? Please stop talking. You got any brothers and sisters? Did you kill any of your brothers and sisters? Do you have issues sharing? Can I drive? Do you ever eat Migas? I love Migas. Queso, am I right? Hey, that's gonna Are be the episode. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Have you ever tried growing a mustache on the inside or the outside of your helmet? Now that would be impressive. Can I drive? Do you think the gang found church? Do you ever go to church? Are you religious at all? I'm agnostic. Hey, do you want to stop for a pizza? I bet the guys are hungry. We should bring them a pizza. Pepperoni? No, sausage. Everybody likes mushrooms. What's your favorite pizza place? I He's like gonna knock him out, right? This is gonna be a long trip, isn't it? I hope so. We have a lot of catching up to do, partner. Speaking of which, why are you helping us anyway? It's a long story. But mainly, 
It's the right thing to do. Hey! Turning over a new fucking leaf! Dude, I am all about it. It's a new beginning for both of us. Just so you know, though, doing the right thing usually totally sucks. You're not wrong. I am acutely aware of that at the moment. So, how do you feel about Cloud Atlas? <laughs> all right, so that was the episodes. I, I thought it was good. I was, I'm a little roughed up on the Felix stuff, but I'm sure they're going to explain later that they sent the message directly to, or not Felix, uh, Locus, uh, that they sent the mes message directly to Locus or at him. Otherwise, the, the random chances of finding anything in space is just astronomically and possibly small. But other than that, everything else was really well written. As usual, they do a pretty good job. There were some parts like there were a couple parts in the one of the I think it was the second episode, which was episode 14, which were a little bit rough for me where I'm just like, uh, it's kind of meandering and moving. Oh, shoot. Excuse me. Sorry, I already been at this for a while today and we still got another sitting to do for uh, Red versus Blue. So with that in mind, I do want to say. You know, special shout out to all of our patrons. Once again, Mad, Stringer, Mike, Waters, you guys are the best. The bomb diggity, the toast of the ball, and uh, I don't know, the captain's crunch. Whatever the new one is. Having said that, uh, remember to support the original content to creators as well. Because Ruby and Ru Red vs. Blue. Sorry, that's, we're watching Red vs. Blue. I did a bunch of episodes of Ruby yesterday, which is why I'm all fucked. But uh, Ruby and Red vs. Blue are great. And if we don't support Rooster Teeth. We can't get more seasons and episodes. So I really do uh, encourage you to go and support them in any way you can, whether that's liking, commenting, watching on YouTube, etc., or going to their website and getting a membership directly. They do offer some pretty cool perks. Uh, I, I had been for a while. The only reason I'm not currently is because I can only afford either the Rooster Teeth one or the Crunchyroll run for all the anime too. And since it's also on Crunchyroll, despite being a bit like later, it, it's still uh, where we end up watching a lot of the stuff. Having said that, uh, Red vs. Blue is almost always YouTube because it's based uh, on a property that doesn't belong to them and they can only make so much off of it. Having said that, I really hope you guys check out next episode. If you liked, like, comment, share, subscribe, maybe. Yeah. And if you didn't like, I understand. And, you know, maybe let me know why and tell me how I can improve in the future. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time on Reactions with an A. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.